This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and today we are revisiting the Master Lock Street Cuff Motorcycle Lock. If you've been with me for a while, you may recall that I featured this in two previous videos. In video number 355, we picked open the relatively unusual tubular lock mechanism, and then in video number 559, we broke the street cuffs using a ram set strike. If you're interested in seeing either one of those videos, I'll leave links in the description below. But what we're going to be doing today is seeing how this chain fares against a brute force attack. And in particular, we're going to be testing the rivets that hold each of these hardened steel plates together. The tool that we're going to be using for that is an open-ended nut splitter. As the name suggests, this is a tool that's designed for splitting in half nuts that are seized or corroded onto bolts. It's a relatively simple tool incorporating a small hardened steel wedge and a screw press. It also happens to be a very effective tool in compromising this type of linked plate bike lock. The idea is that you put this hardened steel wedge in between two of these hardened steel plates, tighten the screw down, and see if it will either cut or break the rivet. Now I've tested this on a number of other riveted plate bike locks before, and it's been very, very effective. However, on none of those locks have the rivets been this close to each other. So it might be that we're going to have to compromise more than one rivet to break these two cuffs apart. So let's take all this down to the garage and see what happens. Okay, we're out in the garage and step number one We'll be arranging the nut splitter such that this hardened steel wedge is in between two of these plates. Hopefully that's not too difficult. Okay. It's actually moving around a lot. Frankly, I think this would be easier if I actually was out at a motorcycle being locked up. Okay, I think I have that about where I want it. You can see that we are in between two of the steel plates, or at least I hope you can see. Let me tighten it down just a couple of turns with the ratchet to make sure that we're on the right track. And yep, that wedge is definitely in between two of the plates. Okay, so let's tighten this down and hopefully it won't turn on me too much. I'm facing this away from me. I know it doesn't give you the best view, but I don't want these rivets to pop out and hit me or hit the, the light fixture above me. Okay, we're getting a lot of resistance on this, as we would expect. These are really beefy rivets. Okay, let's just take a moment to see how we're doing. You can see that those, those plates are pushed apart pretty significantly. So let's keep going. That was just the street cuff moving in the vise. We might have to take a new approach. What I'm going to try to do is put a wrench around the, the nut splitter. That way I don't have to leverage on the street cuffs. I have no idea if this will be any easier. Okay, definitely a little bit easier. And there we go. Looks like we broke apart one of the steel plates. However, the rivet is still intact. So this probably is not gonna open. Let's keep going. And I can see the steel wedge is cutting into that rivet.
but it's still holding pretty strong. Wow, that rivet really flew. Okay, let's see where we got. Okay, you can see we cut through part of the rivet and then the rest just fractured. You can also see that in the middle of, of tightening the nut splitter down, we broke apart one of these hardened plates. In any case, this was probably the strongest test of the nut splitter thus far, but it did emerge victorious. That's all I have for you today on this Master Lock Street Cuff. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.